out Laundry Bar on Warrantry Land to my left. We got out of the UK, Australia's favourite YouTuber, Chazza. Let's go! Right. Melbourne makes so fucking nice! Yeah. <laughs> to my right, all the way from WA from Freo, we got Asthmatic. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Come on, day one, let's go! Give some quick paces, bro. As Matty gonna go oh, first, boy. hold it yeah. down. Come on, hey, get the mess. Everyone on the back, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> so Stuart from Battle Rap hey, you called me up. <laughs> like, bro, I'm putting on this Melbourne event, and it's gonna be bloody big. And I was wondering if you'd be keen on flying over and jumping in. I said, fuck <laughs> those, homie. You know me. I fucking love this shit. Now keep in mind, I just come off the back of Battle of Vegas, so I'm thinking he must have someone sick coming in. I'm like, so who you thinking, bro? Cursor? Purpose? Done it? Shit. Uncle Six? He's like, bro, check this. I got two international legends flying in from the States just for this. I'm like, I'm listening. <laughs> He's like, but for you, I got someone British. I'm like, whoo, it's not Shuffle, is it? That funny bitch. <laughs> He's like, no, better. I'm like, who? He's like, Chazza. I'm like, you fucking prick. <laughs> I said, bro, I thought we were mates. My last performance was great. What the fuck is this? He said, whoa, whoa, hang on. He does have at least 300 vids of him reacting to other spit, and his last battle against Rocky did really step it up a bit. I said, he's fucking shit. He said, now, now, no, that's why I was going to say, just for this one, I think, you should go easy on him. I mean, dude's just a kid. I said, forget it. If he's stepping, it's getting vile. Think pedophiles. It's, fuck this pathetic child. He can suck my dick. It's, oh, yeah. it's fatty guzzle, bitch. You lost to Eric Devine, so it was safe to say you had some levels to climb before you were ready to step to my kind. But somehow, here you are. So it's up to me to make sure you have a terrible time. Some poor cunt's gonna have to spend the rest of the night trying to talk you down from a ledge while you cry, begging to die. Because when I'm projecting these lines, they set in your mind and have you questioning life like a masculine high. Chazza! Yeah. <laughs> How do you look like a small child? and an old withered man. <laughs> it's an incredible sight. I mean, you look like you head home after a long hard day of finger painting and making macaroni necklace designs and then hopping to bed with your wife. <laughs> now, you look like your mum gives you a warm sippy cup of milk every night for you to pop your dentures inside. I mean, <laughs> someone tell me how long this little pleb's been alive because I can't tell if he's ages seven to nine or 79. <laughs> well, I thought we're at the legacy, right? Yeah! And we got this. True blue sick cunt versus a fruity little pomegranate. An authentic <laughs> MC versus a bitch who needs to stop the act. And a silver back gorilla versus a YouTube and poxy maggot. Want a battle rat for lost raptors hunting down a filthy little dog for yapping. I've not heard one of your tracks, Shazza. But I imagine there's a lot of capping. Bro, stick to doing those cringy vids. This scene does not want you rapping. I mean, picture me watching some cunt. Watching some cunt. <laughs> Just to see him react to it, that ain't gonna happen. You know why I don't watch reactions? Because I'm not a faggot. <laughs> Bro, what has happened? You're slowly becoming one of the most hated cunts in Oz rap since that rock spider from Got Beef. Ooh. I don't know about you. Ooh. I don't know about you, but I, got, I go into a violent rage every time this flop speaks. I might just get on my disaster in Hofstees. After a fried dude, he's getting cracked out until he's lost teeth like a rock fiend. Bro, you got so many no, whack cunts on your channel, bro. Thinking they the top G, and then you gas them up more and try and convince us we should watch. Please, do not let this dog lead you on his. Do not let this pom lead you on his dog leash. He's fucking up the old scene. We let him run shit like Churchill. He's gonna send us to the wrong beach. I'm yeah. gonna. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna embarrass you today so bad your team is gonna disown you. I swear. You're gonna get back to your hometown. Look around, and nobody's there. Even though the people know this ain't fair. I'll have him feeling shook like Dylan Brooks alone in despair just for poking a. Bear, I'm different time. Let's go! one on Chazza. For those who can't tell by my accent, I'm not from it. I'm from a place called London Town, where the dungeon's found, but I'm living nowhere near. It's been a big struggle. I've been on the run from immigration. <laughs> Whether I stay or not is yet to remain clear So while I was the one everyone feared facing I've been preoccupied facing my own fears Legacy! Let's go. Make some fucking noise! Yeah. Yeah.
I said legacy. I'm here to settle a point. But I don't settle for draws even if it takes years. Long run, they said I can paint a picture. You can keep on crying, I'll trace these tears. Artwork, it's a visual masterpiece. I can pinpoint what I want on a sixpence tonight. We cure a disease of mediocre. And soon you might look at him just a little different. This is Matty Matthew Prince, Mr. Fremantle Battle Rap. Well, welcome back. Oh, I'm wiping my feet with Matthew today. So I'm sorry if I'm stepping on you. That's a welcome map. I'm even more comfy on beat so we can welcome tracks. And we're only talking truth tonight, so it's about time that we welcome facts. Fact is, you look like a Viking who's vegan. <laughs> <laughs> For a tantrum if there ain't air corner, a blind set with heating. Day job as a juggernaut. But he finds it intriguing that Greta Thunberg spoke on the violent mistreatment of dietary wheat bix That don't even make fucking sense. <laughs> you foul, Allah looking motherfucker. <laughs> you look like you're from a land where they used to rape and pillage. Just take the village. Oh shit. Slay and dismay without any moral basic disinterest. The plainest of interclicks. You should be from Britain. <laughs> that was bad. But he's a prince, he ain't a Viking. It's about time that we understood this. I do acknowledge that you've done the hard yards, and yeah, you've done some good bits. But I ain't looking to follow footsteps. So I don't want to hear about shoe size too big. I'm looking to start my own trail, and this all starts with a foot, Prince. Yeah. Man, come on, Mel. Yeah. Wait, oh, no. oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, my name's Mr. McQueen, so it's royalty the way they paired us the both. Maybe a queen beats a prince bar before, but regardless, I'll draw blood even if you tear from a stone. Knife work, the way I carve, I'm eating and this feast left bare to the bone. Prince could choke tonight, and that's ironic. Why is that? Cause then there'd be no heir to his throne. <laughs> You're from a place called Munster, right? W.A. you created a style and formulated, scary opponent This Sully was a top boy but now they don't scream, I think his roar's been taken Now they have one eye beside you, you've had talent but it's been more than wasted I just wanna see if that beast can still open doors, have you got that monster incorporated? Sorry man, my mouth is so fucking dry, I can't help it <laughs> Have you still got it, as? Cause I ain't easy pickings. The villains are some, but to them, can you be that hero? Hear the cheers grow, cherish the moment up here, but still be present in here, bro. Fight or flight as everything appears slow. 30% speed like b row in Premier, bro. As the air flows out your guts from a severe blow. Feel your heartbeat alone from your blood sheer flow. What could you stick on me if your spear broke? Vintage performance, still roll back the years though. Tears, bro, cause they didn't think I was in your tear, bro. I can bring both fire and ice, I adhere and then I clear snow. So how do you want this finish? Scorpion or Sub Zero. Aussie, big shout out to Chazza for keeping the art of YouTube video reactions alive. <laughs> Bro, people like you are sacred. Thank you. And what, you got like 11,000 followers on Instagram? Dude, you're famous. <laughs> but when it comes to this hip-hop culture, you're a useless human face it. You claim you're an MC, but don't fit in with your own kind like a stupid Asian. Just do the rank shit. In what world does he wreck asthmatic? That could never happen. I last battled Vega. This for me is stepping backwards. I'm just penny grabbing. Your little head I'll grab it. I'll pick you up till your neck is stretching. I can spec the gadget eventually snapping. I'm, you can bet I'm savage. I'm doing math. Yeah, you get slashed, left for dead in fractions. You might know one four, but the six is different. And I'm the best like Bradman. I might have him stumped for a moment, but I can bet they catch it. Cremating where he stand. His fam gonna have to catch a flight to collect the fragments. This gonna be the first time in a minute some palms are flown to Oz and left with ashes. <laughs> Share this. Try cover up this body like a wind cheater. The fans are gonna skim past his verses like a quick reader. I get the dirt, then I ground him like really. Put him in a six feeder. I said if Chaz a play, I assassinate his character like King Caesar. Oh. You love, you're in love with every hard cunning Sydney, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the 
with a wall hanging dick eater, a little parasite grub fucking bottom of the pit feet, a little cleaning up the puddles off the floor, a little piss cleaner. There's a whole gang of cunts who suck ass and you're the ringleader. <laughs> I spit ether, I will not just threaten him, he wanna kick some foul shit off the dome I might just stomp his head in then, don't get led astray This dog's irrelevant, I'm just getting some tension off my chest And when it's me I don't put nothing light in venting I ain't Thomas Edison, boy I got something dark inside of me And you gonna cop the depth of it, it's like he dipped and swerved it At the demolition derby, he has not been wrecking shit Your name gonna be on its way down when I drop this heavy shit I'm what they need, like the doctor's medicine Which is ironic cause I watched your only two battles And it felt like I just popped a sedative yeah. Bro, oh. Bro, you are basic and boring. Wow. That lame shit's appalling. He's so insufferable, punchable. I hate him, he's corny. I pray for the day that his family's at his wake in the morning. If I saw a shooting star tonight, I'd make a wish that he don't wake in the morning. Listen. Oh. I gave him his warning. Now I'm cooking him, putting chunks of his dweeb in the oven or leave it on 200 degrees. But you can't really lose here today. Cause I'm expected to leave this young and deceased So they gonna give him props just for stepping up to a beast So this does nothing for me, I mean There's no way this up and comer believes he's really fucking with me I don't need to punch this cunt in his teeth If the little grub wants his shit to come to fisty cuffs I'll just pick him up and stick him up in a tree And he'll be stuck for a week like SOMEBODY PLEASE! <laughs> Bro, you thought you, you thought you were climbing up some ranks So they got as to drop ya He's having an identity crisis but we all know Chaz is not a battle monster, bro. You've cooked it. Have you been smoking crack, you tosser? It looks like Harry Potter. It looks... Bro, it looks like Harry Potter's been hanging off a pipe, and now he thinks he's Barry Bonzer. Oh! I had a second round that was mad intricate, pulling out all of the stops. It was like nine minutes long and it felt mad infinite, siphoning through his catalogue. Over 20 something battles on the wrong side of 15 years. Kinda made me wonder if I did the same prep for Maxorus or Grills. It would be a 35 minute round if I did that same prep for Maxorus or Grills. But for all that content, I did find three distinct themes. So I'll box them into a trio of titles, as simple as it seems. How I can split three sevens like gym sets, then blitz creek and make it settle in your paw like skin creams. <laughs> Set number one, let's look at the incredible hits. Let's see how you beat some of your opponents by an impeccable bit. How you made some across you look like a terrible shit. Who's the first name on this respectable list? It's... Really? Ranga. <laughs> <laughs> Ranger. Now, for those who don't know, Ranger wasn't the most talented in the public eye, but I'm sure he was a lovely guy. <laughs> Probably went on to have three kids and a lovely oh, wife. Yeah. Yeah. Open plan kitchen, I'm sure you get the picture, it's a lovely sight. Anyway, who's the next name on this incredible list of MCs? It's Donkey. <laughs> Some of these rap names are fucking sensational. Anyway, I'm going off topic. You next beat top notch, but his performance wasn't top notch, or was it? Because that boy choked. Just like Mason, he flopped it in your one ounce debut. Mason had bars, struggled to get one out, and then forgot them. It's like the carpet you stepped on was magic. Your opponents couldn't speak their panicking. You had a boo by your side. For years you did this beside your princess Jasmine. Going from Robin to being remade by Will. It takes a genie to get free off of Prince when battling. Cause you was that thief that still run through that market. And they knew it was over after they let a lad in. Oh. Woo! Yeah. But that wasn't the case for your 2v2s. Oh, I'm covering everything, it's my duty too. Search through every lead and every clue. Still looking for that monster like, like Scooby-Doo. When you had a better rapper to seat through, you eat through each rounds, man. Ah, oh, fuck. When you had a better rapper to seat through, you each rounds, man. whoop de doo You either got carried, you goose, please move, or got found out on camera like Lucy Lou. Yeah. You alright? Cause, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> 
realistically, you only beat your opponent when they were subsufficient. And if that wasn't the case, you had Cortex and Distract to hide under, but I ain't hiding from you. Fuck it, let's push on to set two. Yeah. Let's talk about plants. Because you know, that caused a stir while I'll explain it all. Because when you battled in PCB, your bias was lopsided and like so favourable. I guess that was the same for lethal and truth, and now the lethal truth is this guy's so breakable. And in your battle with Creepy J, you said some racist shit. Whoa. Oh, let's talk about how the tide's so changeable. Hateable was that performance. You wasn't battling a Caucasian, bro. So you decided to use culture as a weapon and draw the card for some Asian jokes. Mm -hmm. Then you admitted it against Darko in a following battle. Can't you tell by my impatient tone that I don't really like that, Matthew? I thought I'd bring it up so the whole nation knows. Remind them now, let's take it slow. Let's go. When you battle Decoy, I give total props to him. Because he predicted what you would say when you decided to mock his limp. Now if he wobbles around, <laughs> what do I care? Go and call him a sniper's nightmare. <laughs> but the fact you got cheered despite Decoy calling it, that's a clear example of your bias you've got right there. Let's talk about set three, and this is where I have the main issue. This is the part where I'm explaining, dude, pertain something I figured out, and I'm claiming you lost every single battle against a half-decent opponent. Let's start by naming a few. Gunboy, back in 09, days of having LimeWire. Maybe that's crazy for me to hold that against you in a time prior of Blackberries and 3310s. Since then we've climbed higher, and then you got stumped against Cortex. You know, the first fine writer that you come face to face with. See, personality carries you through, but it's only a solid base, which gets really found out when it comes to a pen game. There's a real big distance in this space, which gets found out against the likes of Barry Bonza. There's a certain level that you can attain as, but I feel like there's only a certain amount that we get from you. You was lazy against Cable, and Vega outbars you. You couldn't give us more than a single entendre. And when Corsic rocked your shit grimy, he drilled it in that you haven't gone far. Your soul couldn't match your trap against Hattricks. You're nothing without bias in this genre. Time. Whoa. Whoa. Hold it down! Bro! I got tunnel vision in this shit like a cyclops. Yeah, I've said some racist bars just like everybody did ten years ago battling you, white dog! When he's spitting his hard shit, the crowd is here in disbelief. Not because he's blown their minds, they just can't believe in these, believe a word in these rounds. This scrawny kid is speaking, he hops on a drill beat, then a trap beat. Like I get rowdy when I'm in these streets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at those beady eyes and we can see you ain't about it, little Miss McQueen. I mean, how are you so thin and weak? I doubt this little stringy bean would weigh more than even a couple of pounds, this little skinny freak. I don't even think wow. it would help if I shout this little bitch a feet. We're gonna need the whole cow so you can sip its teeth for your calcium deficiency. <laughs> his little claim to fame in his town is, is how him and Chillin are the great little pals. He even came to his house. He talks about it all the time, all gracious and proud. Chillin had called him up like, yo Chaz, I'm on the way to yours now. <laughs> Started dancing and screaming, frantically cleaning, pacing around. <laughs> He showed you some bars and told you some yarns and all you kept saying was, wow. <laughs> you were like, yeah, chill, where are you sleeping tonight, bro? You want to stay? You're allowed. <laughs> See, me personally, ever since he said, fuck my brother Greeley on stage to a crowd, I've hated the clown and ain't been playing his sounds, but you, if he had a laid on your couch that night, whipped his cock out, you would have put it straight in your mouth and started milking that steak like a cow and taking his loads to your face till you drowned, you little fuck <laughs> Bro, there ain't no greater 
separate round of different with it. There's levels to this. I'm just sick of with it. You could never do this. You make me want to bang your head with a piece of heavy metal, dude, like the devil's music. I got this pussy petrified. This bed is ruthless. Don't think after this we're going to be gang fam. I don't do this shit to hang, man. I do this to put necks in nooses. You yeah. thought you could step to ass? I guess he clueless, because you won't just get left for bruises. I'm beheading goobers and turning pathetic humans into demented mutants. You're going to have to send your bitch round to the king's house to pay some retribution. As soon as she walk in, she on her knees, getting her neck chopped like an execution. Oh. Oh. To go. You don't want to throw hands at me, I'll squash your nose, I'm locked and loaded. Take my shot from close, bang! Pop his dome, he hit the floor, the crowd yelling, give him more! I stomp his throat, I'm dealing out some pain, ground and pound, Chaz is copping bows! Give him more! Bro, you're not built for a stage of this magnitude, so I had to give him a proper show from us both. I mean, we got Ilmac and Dosaurus in the building. Don't embarrass our scene, dog, they're goats. See, for a minute I've been knocking blokes down for the count like they're dominoes, but you're still a little green, bud. So it's only right to get chopped and smoked. <laughs> With that bullshit, I just get straight to the punch. Your, your little reactions are gained you some love, but today's the day you get crushed into a pace and then dust. Chaz is getting made into drugs. I'll make this kind of fucking down and turn his brain into mush. My tongue will raise and cut you, and I and know it ain't gonna rust. You never stood a fucking chance, cunt. Face it, you're done. You must be cra you're either crazy or dumb. You must be trying to get chipped, fucking playing with a freak like Dame to the Bucks. Right. The flow grizzly. Another culture vulture, man. These blokes shit me. He flew across, moved to Oz, and now he's picking at our scene. Bro, miss me. You were hating on King Cursor from Campbelltown. And to me, that's so silly. When you had to make your new home Sydney because you ain't shit in your own city. Yeah. Yeah. Chazza, let's go. <laughs> after my last Gator. battle, Hold it down. Yo, after my last battle with Ruckman, we had a back and forth on socials. It's not that I hate the guy, I just sometimes get a little defensive and vocal. Do try to give me advice, you know, the way older heads supposed to do. He said, don't play the villain for too long, Chaz, otherwise the real could never be exposed from you. Mm. But what if that's what's needed, fam? Would Stone Cold be the same without a Vince McMahon? Ooh. So pro wrestling, I guess this is our attitude era. I'm causing a big show to give us the edge with who's added in here, bruh. My debut was in tats. Like Jeff Hardy, I hit an altitude with no fear, bruh. I ain't cheating on Matt. I'm giving you gold dust like Lita. That produces the maddest feuds here, bruh. Dudley boys, I say what's up when I'm battling here, bruh. Go Benoit or Revoir, that's a platitude of fears, cuz tonight I'll go hang the big boss, man. I guess now the real latitude's up here, cuz, cuz I'm at your neck. Causing upset, I'm saying rap here has been subsufficient, non-existent And the few drops of quality come and go but never stay persistent I am, I am so bored of the mediocre Yo, I am so bored of the mediocre Mediocre, medi flows, I, fuck I am so bored of the mediocre, needy flows. I need to get something off my chest like a needy smoker. I have been the yoga to sing this scene's exposure. So I apologize if you feel offended. I'm talking to half of you that have been attending. But I ain't talking about the audience. I'm talking about the rappers that have been pretending, been presenting to represent our culture. And now I'm having to talk to them like an angry landlord that needs the rent in. I am so bored of our culture just calling each other faggot gays. <laughs> I think it's because you lack substance so you resort to a lazy masquerade Call him a pedophile or something of the sort Because you realise that you just don't lack Come on Chaz, you got it! You can do it!
Sorry, Tyler.